Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to do this dish known as Louisiana Pan Roast. Um, it's actually a dish that's something like a gumbo. We don't really roast this, uh, but um, this dish actually was requested by my wife. She was in San Diego last week and she tried this uh, dish in uh, San Diego. Um, it is oyster bar, which is known as Louisiana Pan Roast or house, house Roast. And she likes it very much and she requested that I do this dish. So after some research and from how she described the dish to be, this is my version of it. Okay. So first, we will need to marinate the seafood. I have with me 600 grams of uh, crab meat over here and approximately about 20 pieces of uh, medium-sized prawns which I've dished up and taken out the vein in the center. I'll be using one third of a teaspoon of this uh, thyme leaf, one third of a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of uh, garlic powder, half a teaspoon of ginger powder, um, one, one teaspoon of this uh, cayenne powder, cayenne pepper, one third of a teaspoon of this uh, rosemary, uh, half a teaspoon of uh, black pepper. So I'll be mixing them all together now. Now we can use uh, fresh crab meat if you want to. You can just uh, buy them, crack them open and then uh, squeeze out the meat or you can buy actually the frozen type like what I'm doing right now. So just put everything in. Just put all the spices. Now if you notice I did not put any salt inside here because uh, later I'll be adding salt into the um, gumbo or stew or the pan rolls itself. So just uh, stir them around a little bit just to let them have a few of these uh, spices. So once you have done with this, just leave this aside. We will need to mix um, white wine with tomato paste in a while. So let's just uh, put this aside first. So now we we'll mix in half a cup of our tomato paste together with one cup of our white wine. Mix them well, we will use them later. While we, were cooking, we are, while we are cooking the pan roast. In a heavy bottom pot, add in approximately about 3.5 ounces of butter. Over here I have is uh, approximately about 7, seven ounces, so I'm using half of it. Melt the butter. We are going to create a uh, brown roux over here. So I'm going to add in approximately about one cup of uh, all-purpose flour inside here. In goes the flour. You fry the flour. Now if it's a bit too dry, feel free to add a little bit more butter. Now we want to brown the flour so it can give a very nice fragrance. Now as you can see, it's turning brown already. So what we are going to add in will be two yellow onion dice, one full tablespoon of uh, chili powder, two teaspoons of uh, chopped garlic, two bay leaf, and half a tablespoon of salt. Ah, sugar, sorry, sugar. So once the mixture has been mixed up properly, Put in one liter of uh, seafood stock. I'm using prawn stock over here. You can use fish stock or um, whatever seafood stock that you want. Mix them well. And while you are doing it, put in also one cup of diced tomato together with the juices and the tomato paste with the white wine that we mix in just now. As I like my salt, my 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 food to be a little spicy, I'll add in half a tablespoon of this. Uh, Tabasco sauce or any hot sauce that you like. If you want it spicier, you can put in more if you want to. Seasoning, we will add it in a while. We just let it boil first. Now that the base is boiling already, let's put in the seafood. Oh, the seafood. Stir them in. It's supposed to be something like a thick stew and you serve this over rice. Or you can use pasta if you want to. So let's boil this for approximately about five to seven minutes to get the prawns uh, to be cooked. Remember to stir them because we don't want the base to be sticking onto the pot. Add in uh, one and a half teaspoon of salt first to taste the saltiness before I decide to add in more or less. Stir them in, and we have a taste in a while. Mm. 
it's very, it's very nice and um, I think I can do a little bit more of a salt I'll add in it and I'll have a teaspoon and before I serve this up I'm going to add in more butter to make it more buttery so in goes the remaining butter and also I'll be adding in 180 milliliter of a heavy cream mix them in well this will be fantastic on rice it's like the European style of Mui Fan thick gravy on rice and finally I'll add in more black pepper to increase the peppery taste approximately about another um, two teaspoon of uh, black pepper more Pour them in nicely. One last final taste, and we are done. Mm. Extremely good. Now, if you want it more spicy, feel free to add in more chili if you want to. But with the kids at home, I think this is just right. Saltiness, all this can be adjusted to your personal taste. So if you like it a little bit more salty, a little bit more sweeter, you can always add in more salt or more sugar. Okay, and we are done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my version of the Louisiana pan roast. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.